great achievement. I mean, it's really amazing, amazing project that, uh, or let's say, an amazing fact that, uh, let's say, in the last two or three years, from nothing to, as Joel said, from nothing to 100, you did it so fast and it's, it's quite amazing. Um, um, I have a little bit of, of confusion because at the beginning you talk about Vinted uh, making more or less one million parcels or... Uh, That's true, yeah. Per day. So that means, in, but from blockers you have around 20K per day. From this portion, can you give us a little bit of idea how are you in terms of, let's say, utilization? Our goal is pretty simple. We want to fill fill the locker uh, on average once a day. Uh, and some of the lockers are able uh, already there and even above that, some of the lockers are obviously not, not there yet. Uh, so there are still some imbalances in the network. And uh, also due to the reason that you mentioned is there's a very small fraction of our total opportunity is still in the testing, experimenting phase and so on. So we yes, within the marketplace platform, we have over a million uh, shipments per day that we have control of, and we just tapped in into twenty thousand a day. So there's quite a quite still, quite a lot of lockers still to deploy to to, to fit a million. And what we see is uh, with the network effect, it's e it, it becomes easier to balance out the network. The bigger the network, uh, the more efficiently it works, uh, the more balanced it is, and the more leverage we have over uh, the the the. Uh, customer decision making process or simply the sizing of different Poputo points and, and uh, making sure they are adjusted to the potential and actual demand around that particular spot on the map. Working with other partners, Vinta definitely fills lockers very fast. These guys are, are crazy. Uh, when I was, even when the service launched, the first few days, the lockers were just always full, insane. 